Hey, what's going on guys? I have a great message for you all today and we are going to talk about something that is extremely important to your personal growth and something that I have battled with throughout my whole entire CSGO career from being a, you know, a little matchmaking rat to, you know, grinding to the top and making it higher and higher uh, progressively. So yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys this message. Make sure you check out my recent videos I've uploaded before you watch this one. It's very important. I'll link up here the CSGO motivation. That playlist is gold and you need to watch all of those before you watch this, all right? But without further ado, let's get right into it. So one of the, the most important things you need to understand if you wanna make it to the top in CSGO, both individually, but most importantly on a team, right? Is the idea of how to stop being negative and stop being toxic and how to actually you know express positivity and be a light to those around you okay and i know it sounds really stupid but you guys do not understand you can you can use this in your in your individual solo queuing mm games even whatever you want but it is most important on a team environment where you are going to be you know playing with these people and they should be your brothers right so let's just talk about what's going to happen if you're a negative toxic person that no one wants to be around okay so what is going to happen is you're going to make everybody miserable and at the same time you're probably fucking miserable too because you don't want to do it and you're negative and you're toxic so you're going to be miserable your teammates are going to be miserable everyone around you is going to absolutely be miserable and you know what that does it makes nobody want to show up to play it makes nobody want to be there it makes nobody happy no one is uh, proud of each other. No one's supporting each other. No one's happy if, you know, you have a sick round or you win, win a game or you do this. So uh, being a negative, toxic person is only going to hurt you and is only going to hurt those around you. If you truly care about your team and you truly want everyone to get better, it doesn't matter if your teammates are horrible. You're, you're going to give them criticism and you're going to, you know, you try to help them out. And, you know, I'm not saying you can't get frustrated, but the, it, it, there is no room. There is zero room for being a, a little toxic uh, person and, you know, being that kind of little troll that that is just horrible for team growth and it makes nobody want to be there. Right. And I say this because it's something I know a lot of teams struggle with. And even from, you know, all the way at the top where you wouldn't think this happens. It does, guys. This happens at a tier one professional level. This happens at every single step of the way and it is something you are going to have to battle with through your career you are not going to be able to avoid this you are going to be playing with these toxic people that do not care about you do they they do not want you to succeed they don't care about you at all right they're just using you to get what they want and it's just something you're gonna have to deal with right so let me talk about what you need to do to combat this and what you need to do in your own life to make sure one you're not this type of person and two how we can deal with these type of people so let's talk about what you can do to be a positive person right so when you're in a game especially in a team environment i i told you guys earlier you can get frustrated and you can get you know mad at your teammates and that's gonna happen it's life it's a competition it's it's in the moment it's it's heated but you guys just need to realize that you're playing with four other humans a lot of you guys uh struggle with realizing that these are four different people on your team that are actual people have actual lives you know are just like you okay so remember that your teammates are human and talk to them like humans right communication is the most important aspect to this game and, and the most important aspect in, within a team so make sure you're communicating with your team you realize they are humans and if you're gonna rage and you're gonna be mad do it off mic if you're gonna start freaking out or slamming stuff or you know heavy breathing into your mic bro just do it and mute it there's no reason to be doing that stuff uh when you're unmuted and just ruining the team environment and moment you're gonna lose rounds on any single team you're ever on you're gonna lose rounds you shouldn't be losing that is part of the game look at the professional level in csgo but outside of csgo look at the professional level in any sport people fail people don't do their job sometimes it happens so what are you going to do when your teammate messes up uh, an important round or a, a clutch that you really wanted to win to win the game? What are you going to do when, when your teammate loses the game for you? Well, I'll tell you that you shouldn't be a negative, horrible person. You should be, you know, there for them and you should, you know, you can be upset, but you should be there to, you know, be a brother and put your arm around them and make sure that they are, you know, they know they're in a positive environment where, yes, this is a mistake and yes, this happened, but it's not the end of the world and we're going to grow from there. And if you're not capable of doing that, then it's really going to hurt your chances with, you know, playing on higher level teams because you're always going to be 
uh, just a negative person within the team and the team environment is just going to be horrible. Um, I'd rather be on a team personally where, you know, we might lose games and we might not win, but I know I have four other guys surrounded with me that are capable of, you know, building each other up and winning because guess what? If your teammate lost you that game that he lost the, the game winning round because he failed, guess what? You should be there to comfort him and you know make sure he knows that we're going to improve this and we're going to be better because guess what you could be that person that loses the next game you could be the one that drops the ball and if you are a horrible toxic person you are going to feel like the lowest person on earth you know how miserable and toxic you are and then you let the team down now you know now you've put yourself in a situation where all your teammates are going to feed negativity into you because that is all you have done 24 7 right that is all you have done. So just make sure you understand that if you are going to be this person, whatever, you're, you're still going to find success. You're still going to you know, climb through the ladder. But guess what? You're going to hate your life. You're not going to want to wake up in the morning because of how horrible of a person you are. And you you know that if you make one mistake, you're, you're, you're just going to be stuck in this negativity loop. So guys, like it's so simple. Don't be a bad person. And I'm telling you this because every single team i've seen at, at the top near you know advanced ecl and you know you can even see some pro teams where stuff like this happens and you're gonna deal with it if you're gonna be a pro player you're gonna deal with this especially in the lower levels you're a hundred and thousand percent gonna deal with this this is just life bro this is the cs scene that we play in so what are we gonna do now so i've talked to you about what kind of person you need to be so what are we gonna do now if you encounter one of these people on your team what, and before I say this, guys, if you're on a team and there is, you know, more than one person like this on the team, I would just recommend you guys run because you're not going to get anything out of the team. You're going to hate yourself. You're never going to want to uh, play the game that you love. And it's just going to become a, a, a chore to be on the team. But what are we going to do when more, when you run into these people on your team? Right. And it's very tricky and it's not fun at all. But one, I'd recommend you guys actually try to reach out to them individually you know, ask them what's up. Maybe it's something in their life that's making them like this. Maybe it's uh, something behind the scenes that you don't even know is just like bringing them down and making them feel so angry and feel so, you know, uh, like toxic. You know what I mean? So maybe maybe they're just projecting what life is giving them, right? Okay. And that doesn't justify what they're doing at all. But having this talk with them and, you know, letting them know that what they're doing is just hurting the team and what they're doing is bringing the team down. Let them know that. And the tricky thing is, I'm going to tell you guys, a lot of these people are actually good at the game. There, There's going to be times where there's these these toxic, horrible people, right? But they are so good at the game and, you know, they can still do this. But you need to make sure they, they realize that even if they're just even if they're good at the game, that does absolutely nothing. If nobody else on the team wants to be there and the whole team is being dragged down while they're while they're going up, that's not OK. And I, I think it's so unbelievable that. Uh, so many people in the scene do not realize that, how horrible and negative that is. There is no other sport where uh, players and coaches are like, oh yeah, it's okay if this guy's doing really good even though he's extremely toxic, extremely negative. He, he makes nobody want to show up because he's just good. You know what I mean? So it's just funny to me that we accept this and we're okay with this in the in the scene. So yeah, if you, if you run into one of these people, you need to try your best to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with them. You know, they're still, they should still be your brother. Even if you're on this team and they are just horrible, negative people, they should be your brother at the end of the day. You know, it's just like that family member that you really, really are trying your best to help, but they don't want help. They don't want, you know, they don't want anything to do with you. That's that's kind of situation you got to put yourself in. And honestly, guys, I'm going to recommend to you, this is, this is horrible, but sometimes there's people that just can't change, right? And if that's the case and you find yourself with multiple players that just can't change and they, they don't appreciate you and you, you don't, you know, you don't feel like you're being filled up from your interactions with them and you don't feel like you can build like this brotherhood of like brothers together with the same goal, the same, you know, drive, the same motivation and the ability to just build each other up and want success for each other. Then honestly, guys, I'd recommend just, ah, oh, it's hard, but just try to find another team. It's not worth it, guys. Like you will hate yourself. These people are so good at making you feel the way they feel about themselves, right? So their goal at the end of the day is to make you hate yourself so much that you are as miserable as they are, right? So at the end of the day, is that somewhere you want to be? Is that something you want to do? I would even recommend you guys even, you know, maybe take a step down, play on a worse team, 
that has a better environment. If you're in IM right now and you're on a uh, a really toxic negative team, I wouldn't even just tell you, maybe find another team and go to open or something, or use it as an opportunity to show your worth and show what you've got. But just realize you're gonna be miserable and I, I'm just asking you, is it gonna be worth it, you know? So yeah, I hope that the, that this uh, talk we've had kind of gives you guys a little bit of insight from somebody who has played near the top and you know has played very competitively and very high up. Like. I hope that this uh, advice and this insight really helps you understand what you're going to have to deal with. Uh, if you guys are out there watching this right now and you're a top advance, even main, ECL obviously, you guys know the struggle. You know what I'm saying is 100% facts. And this is kind of my uh, explanation on how you can kind of overcome this hurdle. And I, at the end of the day, sometimes there's nothing you can do and you're kind of just stuck with this uh, toxicity loop. and until you break yourself free, you're never gonna be happy, right? You're never gonna be happy. Like I said, playing CSGO is just gonna be an absolute chore and that's not what you want. If this game is your passion and this game is what you truly wanna do, it should not never feel like a chore to you. It should never feel like you don't wanna play it. You should wanna love practicing and playing with your team because it is your team. They are your brothers, you know what I mean? It's like, it's insane that, you know, if you just don't wanna show up because you feel like you're not welcome or you're not, you know, you, you have this dude on your team or someone that's extremely like negative, right? That should never happen. There should be never be a world where that happens. And at the end of the day, everybody should be committed to building each other up. And at the end of the day, guys, it is a game we are playing. We are playing a game. Even if you're a professional player at the top, bro, like it is a game. Things are going to go wrong. It's a metaphor for life, right? What is life, guys? It is a game. So how you treat your teammates in CSGO really tells me how you treat your family in, in real life. Life is a game. It, it tells me how you treat your, your girlfriend, your wife, your, your mom, your, you know, your family. It, 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 how you treat your teammates and brothers in game is really tells me what you, what you, your, your view on life is and how you treat others around you. I don't want to be with people that treat others poorly and you know, are very, uh, you know, they waste their life away just being a miserable, negative person. So yeah, that's my little rant about that because honestly, guys, you got to realize that at the end of the day, it's a game and what we're doing is awesome. We're, we're playing video games for money, for fun, for, you know, for salary, whatever we're doing, we're, we're playing a video game, guys. Things are going to go wrong. Are you going to be a little baby when things go wrong? Are you going to start blaming your, your teammates when things go wrong? And, you know, it's, it's just silly, but yeah it, it's just uh you guys got to realize you can also implement this into your individual like your your pugs your your mm games whatever and it's gonna be hard i i don't blame you guys at all if you get toxic and mm games or pugs because there is some really horrible horrible people i'm talking like bad people right there is some bad people in pugs um so i don't blame you if you get frustrated and then mute people or you know block people or don't even talk or whatever but my advice today is really really important for team aspect and you should never be on a team where you don't feel welcome and you don't feel like you can grind with your teammates and uh you know in pugs and stuff you have no control over that so don't feel bad guys if you're you know getting down in pugs but you still you still try your best it does reflect kind of who you are and how you how you treat if you're gonna rage in pugs and don't this is how you can take my lesson don't don't be that miserable person in pugs that makes no one want to be there right if you're gonna be raging and mad and all this stuff just just do it off mic just do it off mic and do it to yourself um if you guys want when i stream i rage a lot in pugs right but you can kind of uh if you want to watch how i rage and watch how i you know deal with these negative feelings because i i get so upset right i get so mad when people are not doing what they're supposed to be doing in pugs and I will just be raging off mic and when I'm talking to, to my teammates and pugs I'll make sure that what I'm saying is extremely like positive or you know hey it's okay that you did that and even though I feel angry I feel mad that someone might have done it but you know at the end of the day it's just a game get over it it's it's silly to just be a little troll and a little rager in, in these games so uh, just get over it and my message to you is if you're throwing pugs and throwing games and stuff like that just grow up bro like it, it's it's funny in the moment to you but you're just wasting your time and you're you're not getting anything productive out of what you're doing so um yeah i don't know guys it's just uh, a very important message and when you're inside of a team there's no room for there's zero room for any negativity or, or toxicity <laughs> You, you, if you're raging in pugs, that's perfectly fine, but there should be none of that rage inside of a team environment because these guys are your brothers and they're going to be the ones, you know, in theory, 
traveling to lands with you, you know, playing in these tournaments for money with you, going on stage. You are part of a, a, a family, a brotherhood. Do not be the person in the brotherhood that tears it apart. Do not be that person that ruins the family. Do not be that person that absolutely makes nobody want to be there. Oh, you are going to hate yourself. It, it's going to give you the short term feeling of satisfaction and goodness to be this toxic negative person tearing down your team tearing them down yelling at them but you are gonna get absolutely nothing you are a loser if you do that you are a complete loser okay i'm sorry it's it's out you are a loser so just keep that in mind guys i'm gonna end this video make sure to check out all of my socials i'm always grinding on there i'm always posting videos that will you know teach you guys you guys can learn so much from my videos on my socials follow me on twitter to always stay updated with my professional career with my life make sure you guys subscribe to me on youtube here it means so much and hey all of you guys that watch to the end you guys are f you guys are awesome right you guys are just great people and i really appreciate you guys uh listening to my rants and i will tell you that what i am saying is a hundred percent facts uh what i'm saying is not what you'll hear on other from other people they don't want to tell you the truth but what I'm saying is 1000% true. You are going to become a better player if you just take what I'm telling you and implement it into your own mentality. People do not realize that this game is all mental. And in the team environment and stuff, it doesn't actually matter as much how good you are. It matters how good you are at, at, at like interacting with your teammates and being this good person. And you could be some nuts player and, and just be an absolutely miserable negative person and no one's going to want to play with you. They'll pick you up and you'll be on teams with them, but you're never going to succeed in a long lasting environment and you're, you're only going to go so far. So guys, be, a, be that light in everyone's life. Be that positive person. You know, I'm, I'm sorry for the sappy message today, but this is true. Positivity wins. You're going to, you're going to love yourself so much more. You're going to love yourself so much more because you have this happiness radiating down from within you. You have a brotherhood. You have all these good things going for you. So please please do your best to just be a happy person and i trust trust me it's gonna go a long way in your life so use my message today for not just csgo but use it in your life everything you're ever gonna do give your 100 percent. be a nice person to those around you it is going to make you feel better it's gonna make you a better person give your family a hug today you know be nice to that stranger at the store we're just we're just creating nice people out here that Pojo Mo subscribers are the nicest people on the planet. You guys will sit here and listen to positivity for 18 minutes. That is why you are the best. Nobody else will sit here and listen to 18 minutes of just pure positivity and pure advice like you guys. So shout out to all of you. I'm super hyper this morning, as you can tell. I'm excited for my future. I'm excited for your guys' future. Let's grow together. Let's make this great. Let's make our lives the best lives possible. This year is going to be absolutely incredible. Check out my New Year's uh, goal setting uh, video and episode you guys will learn how to achieve your goals with this advice I've just given you today but that's enough that's enough look forward to more videos in the future I'll catch you guys later peace